As you guys remember, we were heading off into the woods, and now it looks like we're taking the role of Ethan. I couldn't find him. Could you? Ethan Forrester, of course. He hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. She's looking right at him. I don't him. You like that? this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me. Well done, Ryan. Oh, kissing up to the little kid. I like don't it. Don't worry. Hey, you gotta play your, it's play your part. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. He'll be fine. Gareth is smart. No one will tell me what Gareth did, but it must have been serious. Mm. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you. But I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? Ooh, Ooh wrecked. And he calls you a milksop. A milksop? Sir Good Roiland Lord. forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. That's right. What does milksop mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I know it's not good. <laughs> Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Damn. Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my eye! <laughs> Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah! Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. Mm -hmm, and Asher, mm -hmm. Asher just got angry at everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a Lord has many responsibilities. But you don't need to be like them. I promise I won't change. Good. Ah, yes. Make your promises. Because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. I'll have to have both, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything <laughs> you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. Agreed. You're the Lord. Their sister and brother. Lord yeah, Ethan, right. you're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Wow. On a Lord, you know, Lord of the house. Hurry up. <laughs> that seems a little. Uh, What's know. the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. No, no. He's no, demanding man. an audience with the Lord. The Lord's got to really do what the Lord's got to go. go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. That's what the Lord, hey, you gotta make tough decisions. This must be those, the gods, the iron, or what do they call it? The ironwood? They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. 
I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. I don't know if I need to use keys. Oh. <clears throat> Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oathbreakers. Aye, and look where that got him. Mm-hmm. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. Yes! You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. I hate that word. Lord Ethan. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? <laughs> Shrugged. <laughs> your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. That's not how it happened. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your Oh, oh give me something to be like, Lord a pig Ethan. farmer beat your people. Come on. He acted in your name. And you are the Lord of this house. Your men attacked and drew first blood. They murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Answer me! Who's the one who did it? I did. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. Yeah, he's not gonna and like us. you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say, 
I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and, and denied me my justice. Lied. Then we'll see whose word is law. I don't think say anything. No, no. Do your worst, you bastard. Well, remember that I didn't say anything else? I don't know which one I did. did I, was you I defiant or diplomatic? Voice, my lord. Your enemies will interpret your silence oh, as crap. a sign of weakness. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. What? What, what just happened? Was it good? Did I do good? Did I do bad? I don't know. <laughs> no! Oh. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Uh oh. Man, I'm not good with this diplomacy stuff. Can I just pull a knife and kill everyone? That'd be great. Can I bar the door? No, can't bar the door. Ethan made this for me. Oh, it's her stuff. Okay. I was like, am I snooping through her stuff? That's not a good idea. <laughs> Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What oh. a strange place, Essos. Essos. Right click back. Oh, what's this? It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Why is she talking to herself? Anybody ever asked that? Like, why? Okay. Let's read this. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. So why didn't she send the letter? That, that doesn't make no sense. Okay, I think that's everything in there. Oh, apparently it is everything. Dusty old tomb. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Now, I can't remember, was Roderick in the I wall? hope to oh. see them all someday. Okay, in there. There's a window. Look at window. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Ironrath, that was the name of the place. Okay, let's this way. I hope the guys don't hear any clicks on my new keyboard. So, letter from Mother. Read. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Oh! <laughs> I'm all waiting, like, somebody's gonna barge in? Somebody's gonna barge in? Ah, I'm coming! One yes. moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Um, sure, we got nothing else to do, right? No, it's fine. Come in. I'm assuming we know this kid, otherwise we wouldn't invite him in. That looks like a chamber pot duty. Begging your pardon, my lady, but you are right. Is he putting rocks in there? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. I'm glad I knew that. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Just dump. Come on, a little faster. 
You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I'm gonna play her as the honest. I saw type. Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Uh oh. Cersei. They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but. Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and. House Forrester. Hmm. I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a coal boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. Coal boy. Okay, so it's coal, not rocks. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Good night. It's daytime. Look at. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh. Lady Marjorie, you're she reminds ready. me very much I like the show. Be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. For those who don't know, in the show, she's all cleavage. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden, a dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, oh, now that I'm the Queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Ooh. Oh, the eyes, man. Boink. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Uh oh. I'm not good with humoring. <laughs> See if the Queen she's, Regent is ready to She's gonna us. get stabbed. She's, it's, it's, it's inevitable, guys. We're gonna lose Mira like the first try. <laughs> oh, grab my arm. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Shoot, I don't even know which one to say. Good luck. I don't like her. That girl is creepy. Dum dum dum. Dum dum dum. Boom, boom. Oh, the dwarf! I love the dwarf. Do I need to walk? You can do this. Does it actually turn her head? No, I can't turn. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? Okay, what do we do? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. 
Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Uh-oh. Is your family loyal to the king? Yes. Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. House Forrester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, your grace. I see. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Yes, your grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Clearly her loyalty wavers quite a lot. If she has any loyalty at all. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roos Bolton? He is the Warden of the North, your grace. He is. And I the Queen Regent, and Tyrion the Master of Coin. Hmm. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions, while in fact saying nothing at all. So Tyrion likes her. I like Old this. allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose. But I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Of course you can. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. She doesn't like any answer. To see it fall into the hands of another house. <laughs> Man, there's no way I, I can answer this. You'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her? Can I stab her? her? Mistake? Give me her the ability to stab her. Accountable? She was just following her heart. Oh, breath. crap. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If there's crap. a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Crap! <laughs> I'm not good with this. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? Uh oh Uh-oh. I'm sure Let she would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your oh, well, it straight. <laughs> she is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Uh huh. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. 
That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated. Mm -mm. Although Cersei seemed quite pleased. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I can't say anything. Not to that. No doubt Lady Marjorie will forgive you. Eventually. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. <laughs> she threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. I wouldn't want to anger Cersei. And you'd be wise not to. But... Mm -hmm, I suppose mm -hmm, the crown mm -hmm. could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Oh. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. I'm sorry, ah, Tyrion. I can't. But it's a risk I cannot afford. I admire your discretion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. Thank you for the advice, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Yes. Yes! Excellent! And on that note, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Don't forget to click that like button and do comments and do all that cool stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!